Hi guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you three important tips that will help you with 3D printing and with making a 3D printing farm. Uh, whether you're a total noob or an expert and veteran at 3D printing, um, my tips should help you regardless of who you are, as long as you have a passion for 3D printing. And a little background from me is that I have five years experience with 3D printing. I sell 3D printed products on my printers back there on Etsy, eBay, and Amazon. So I have a lot of experience with this and I'm excited to share with you guys three important tips to help you run a successful 3D printing business. So tip number one is to stay consistent. So what do I mean when I say it's good to stay consistent? Um, you know, consistency in general is just good because over time with consistency, if you keep doing something day after day and learning, um, you're bound to improve and find success. If you're starting out, don't be discouraged if your 3D prints come out horrible because, you know, as I started out, my prints were horrible and it took it took time. There's a there's a learning curve with everything in life and just every day you're going to get better if you practice and have that passion for 3D printing and just that energy. Um, so as long as you stick with it, you're going to get better. Now, when it comes to an actual 3D print farm, um, consistency means running your machines almost 24-7. Um, this is because if you run your, your machines constantly, you're going to be making extra items and you can put those aside for uh, extra inventory on hand when, uh, when customers order your products, you'll have the product ready to go instead of having to wait for it to be printed and stressing out about that. You're going to have things uh, you know, ready to go. Plus, it saves you money. Imagine running uh, eight 3D printers only once a day. Uh, com now compare that to four 3D printers running 24-7. Um, they're going to get just as much done, even though you have less printers. So if you run your printers constantly, you can save money instead of going out to buy like four more printers. You can put that money into like filament or something else. And tip number two is to stick to one type of printer. This is a mistake I see a lot of YouTubers and people in general making when they start out their 3D printing farm, and I've made this mistake myself. So currently in my farm, I have four CR6 SE machines that do most of the printing. I found that these printers are just my favorite because of the price point. You can get one for like 350 bucks, and they come with the auto leveling feature, and they work really well. They're just amazing machines for the price. And you know this video isn't sponsored at all, just my personal opinion. And uh, it's good to stick to one type of printer because I can't tell you how many times I've tried to get into different printers and I've received them and just returned them right away because of how dissatisfied I was. They don't work out. And um, it's also a big hassle, you know, going back between the different printers. Um, if you end up with different printers, you'll constantly have to switch settings and like slicing softwares and you'll just be burdened with having to remember so many different things for so many different printers it just becomes to be a it just becomes a pain to deal with and i think of it this way you can either acquire decent skills for using all different types of printers or you can become a master at using just like one type of printer and um i prefer to do the latter when it comes to fdm printing all right so tip number three is to find a good 3d printing supplier uh this is like the most important tip because it helps you save a lot of money. I only realized this recently, and when I when I buy bulk quantities, like big bulk shipments of filament, ten or more, I go through Matter Hackers because their filament is only about sixteen dollars per kilogram compared to about like twenty on up on Amazon, and so you're saving like four dollars a roll. And if you're buying huge bulk quantities of filament, you're going to be saving a lot of money, like hundreds of dollars. And that's what I recommend doing because it saved me hundreds of dollars and it still is. And um, it helps you save a lot of money. And it also helps with consistency. You're gonna be getting the same color, same brand every time. And it helps your brand stay consistent. So that's tip number three. Find a good 3D printing supplier. I recommend Matter Hackers. This isn't sponsored at all. Um, go to Matter Hackers for good filament. And uh, Walmart, if you're trying to buy printers, CR6 SE, it's like 350 on Walmart. Um, Walmart has good prices on printers as well, so I recommend checking out Walmart if you're trying to go for printers. And um, yeah, that's the final tip. Thanks for watching, guys. That's it for today. But if you enjoyed, I'll be making more of these videos in the future, so go subscribe for sure. And uh, yeah, I had a fun time making this video, so thanks for watching.